With me today, Ben Pisto. Ben is Beck's field agronomist for Wisconsin. Ben, let's talk a little bit about harvest update for Wisconsin, the area you covered. How far along are you on harvest as we speak today? Well, as of right now, we are still way behind compared to usual. Um, If I had to take a stab across the state, it varies a lot depending on what corner of the state you're in. Um, But I would say as of right now, about 25% of the beans are harvested and probably 10 to 15% of the corn. So um, about half the pace of normal. Is that due to the delayed planting? And if so, how did that cold weather impact what's happening in Wisconsin right now, Ben? Yeah, so it really is. Basically, the delay in planting is is exactly what we're seeing as the delay in harvest. So it does kind of make sense. We are also seeing that really we, we kept with a lot of our, our maturities that we had picked originally in both corn and beans, and that they actually did um, mature quite a bit later. And it would make sense we planted them later, but we just didn't get the heat consistently through the summer, and now we're dealing with that delay now. Um, So a lot higher moistures in both corn and beans, and um, it's kind of a waiting game for some guys, especially if they don't have the drying facilities. How are they going to deal with the frozen crops, Ben? What do they have to do? Yeah, so the frozen, frozen, that's the big thing, and I I really don't know if, if growers quite realize the impact of the freezing we had last weekend. Um, I was looking at a lot of fields this week, and a lot of corn, and even some soybeans fields, they actually froze prior to their full physiological maturity. So um, guys are going to realize when they get into some of these late planted fields, they start combining, the moisture's really high. Unfortunately, if it froze before black layer and corn, it's going to be really hard to get that stuff to dry down until we get some real hard freezes. So um, be prepared for that. If you get into some fields, high moisture, it may have froze before it black layered, especially in corn. What about yield levels, Ben? What are you seeing in your neck of the woods? What are you hearing? What do you think it'll be when we're done? Give me uh, give me your thoughts there. Yeah, so yield levels, highly variable. Um, we actually are seeing some very high yields come out of uh, certain parts of the state, especially fields that were planted into fairly decent conditions and early. Um, they had very stress-free growing season, actually. And we're actually seeing some of our highest yields come out of our, our more early to mid-season type uh, hybrids and varieties that we're able to maximize the season. Um, So we are seeing some 250, 260 bushel corn under irrigation um, in northwest Wisconsin and even down in southwest Wisconsin. Um, So very good. Um, There are some disappointing soybean yields out there. Um, Very high uh, white mold pressure, especially in the northwest and southwest corner of the state. Um, So that's taking uh, 10 to 15 bushels consistently across some of these fields. So um, very isolated, good fields. Um, Unfortunately, I think on the soybean side, I think we're going to be a little bit disappointed um, just because of the, the late planting date and some disease pressure corn is going to be hit and miss depending on where you're at i think variable is the is the rule of the summer of 2019 depending on where we go and who we talk to it seems like that's one of the most common uh words we hear (laughs) absolutely with me today ben pisto wisconsin agronomist for bex hybrids thanks ben appreciate it you have a safe harvest yeah thanks jim